Lindsay from Hello Hydrangea. One thing I love about weaving is that there are so many different patterns you can create just by changing your warp and your weft. Today I'm going to show you how to create some crosses in your tapestry. Here's an example on a hoop that I made. You can see I just did one little row of crosses right there. Um, but I'm going to teach you today how to do as many as you want, as many rows on like a full tapestry. So let's go. So this pattern looks like crosses when the weft is packed loosely or it has a honeycomb look if you pack the rows tightly. Either way, I think it's really pretty. Start by making sure your weft is a balanced thickness to work with your warp. Do this by gently tugging on it to mimic the tension of it being woven and then hold it between two warp strings. If it fills the space without covering the warp strings, then you will have a balanced weave. You can learn more about the basics of weaving and all kinds of tips in my weaving foundations class on my website. This pattern is also really easy because it is just tabby with two colors. First, weave two rows with a different color than the warp. I am using a natural rope. Then weave one row with the same color as the warp. I am using a yellow felted yarn. Then just continue to alternate between weaving two rows with a natural color and one row with the yellow doing tabby the entire way until you have finished the area. When you are done, feel free to adjust the rows so that the crosses show up more. You can use this pattern at any point of your weaving project. How will you use it? 